show the log information using the debugger class of system diagnostics. I will start the application in uh, debugging mode. Okay. Here the state shows uh, debugger is attached. Now I will click to log the debug information. You see, since I kept a debugger break, um, the code is also breaking here. And yes, the um, debug log click event handler and the first statement I assigned access 15. Now, if I step through the code. first I am forming the lock string then I am uh, getting a new line code this is the lock string and this is the slash r slash n a yeah, new line character here I am making a call to debugger dot log so the first debugging information that I am doing is a yeah, debugger attached um, then I am adding a new line character and in the second line I am adding the log string that's formed in the first step uh, which examines the variable value so that I am logging here so both this information that means the debugger attached in, uh, information displayed in a line and in the next line value in x equal to 15 will get uh, displayed so not yet executed this statement before that I will move it to the output window So I'll clear this. So when debugger is attached, uh, we can switch to the output window and see this log information produced in this output window once uh, these two statements are executed. For now, I will resize this window so that you can see. stepping over now if you see in the output window you are seeing a debugger is attached and now I am in the second statement value in x equal to 15 so this kind of trace information you can produce it in the output window and uh, examine particular variable in most of the cases when you temporarily want to log uh, some variable value within a loop or within a function that will get called multiple times in a call stack uh, um, somewhere uh, below so those time uh, it will be very useful uh, keeping a breakpoint and uh, stepping over the value each and every time will be a time consuming one instead you can temporarily log like this and produce all the output in the output window and then you can perform a find on this output to examine a particular value on a variable in case if it is a loop say for example you are iterating through a database to read a uh, a set of values based on uh, some of the where conditions and let's say the loop runs for uh, 500 times uh, it may not be good for you to go and uh, loop through uh, uh, loop through each iteration in a uh, step over way I mean um, examining the statement one by one through the debugger using this uh, step over and examining the value so that will be a time consuming one instead if you put a debugger log like this and produce all 500 output here and then uh, in a later point of time you can check whether particular value is fetched from the database or not so in that sense uh, the uh, debugger log will be useful 
also keep in mind that you want to put your log in a temporary fashion so that will be useful so i'm closing this video for now